What's going on YouTube? It's your boy B Dot back with another quick video. It's been a while since I've been on here, man. It's been doing my thing. Been super busy with the Indie Crafts brand, man. I, I just launched some new hats, I think like two days ago. The t-shirt's still doing good. Make sure you guys check the description in the bottom and go check those out. If you are into crafts, definitely check that out. All right, now back to the beard thing that we always do on this here channel. Now you see your boy over there looking like Sidney Portier or Rallo Lawson or Sanford and Son. You see the little, you know what I'm saying, all up in there. I will cut it all the way down, but I'm going to rock one of my in the crab hats tonight. I'm about to step off of some more brew real quick. So I'm going to get on here real quick. I just put my chalk buddy, chalk buddy. I just put the cut buddy pencil on here as I normally do. One of the things that I've been struggling with throughout my whole journey. And over the last year and a half or so, I've actually gotten better at it where now my cover just way in the back, looping back. My neck is about a finger and a half or two fingers. And uh, same on the other side. And as you guys know, I've been doing my James Harden up top. Now, the James Harden, I didn't go away from it. I'm still, I still got that goal. But the hair that grows up here on my cheek, as you can see, you know, it doesn't really, it's like sporadic hair. It doesn't really just connect to too much of anything. I'm trying my best not to dig into it, as you guys can see. I definitely got some pretty good coverage. For some guys, they see my beard like, man, your beard is high enough. Your coverage is great. You got a great beard. I appreciate all the compliments. But we are our own worst critics, as the saying goes. So, you know, the more I look into my mirror and I do my craft beer pictures, and I'm looking at, damn, I wish my line was a little bit higher up here. And, you know, I'm using my straight razor, trying to get it nice and crispy, which I can do sometime. But then you still got that little light section right there. And I hate that. So... Today I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, line it up with the Andy Slimline Pros, put a nice little crisp line on it that way, hook up the bottom of the neck as I usually do, and as you can see how poofy my beard is, I just combed it out, and I got a lot of flyaways and scraggly hairs, so I'm going to try to just clean it up a little bit, man, before I step out. Got my Andy Slimline Pros right here charging. As I told you in the last video, you can leave them charged in the wall and use them. Right. Just went ahead and lined it up, man. Hit the cheek line real good. I actually went inside the chalk line a little bit. I'm still trying to hover above without really digging in, but it's really hard to do if you want a really, really crisp line. But I've sort of got used to it. As long as I clean up these hairs, it look a lot better. You know what I'm saying? So using the Andy Slim Line Pros only. Now I'm about to get ready in this um, knock off these loose hairs using my Slim Line Pros. I usually use the Masters, then I come back with the Slim Line Pros today. I'm going to do a strictly Slim Land Pro so I can show you guys how these clippers really, really hit, how they really cut. Now, if you guys can see, I'm just going to go straight down with the clipper. You probably can't see from this angle I'm on right now, but I'm going to go straight down with the clipper. Right now, when you get down to this part, man, just go with your desired style, man. I like to rock more of a rounded look, so I use my shirt like this, and I kind of like bend my neck down a little bit so I can get all the little see-through hairs off there. And that's how I do that. Then I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing I did to this side. But as you guys can see, it's a little bit more contour. I don't want to dip in too much, but I do go like straight down with it. But I'm not going to be a fool and just like dig into it or just go so straight that I'm starting to do this. Then I got that contour beard. I don't want that one, but I do want a contour look, but not that kind of a shaped beard. So I'm going to hit the bottom right now. And also try your best not to dig too much into this. So when I'm down here hitting my chin area, I'm really just hitting the chin area. It may look like I'm going all the way back. I might see some little flyaways. I might hit those, but I don't 
ever dig into here. This is the hardest part of your beard to grow, at least for me in my opinion. So I would never hit any of this down here. Just as much as you can, just graze right along it just a little bit. All right, let's finish doing that. Give him a little brush, where is it? I wanna zip it back up. So yeah, there you have it, man. Just went ahead and did that real quick. Did all that work with the Andy Slimline Pros. It even come with the guard attachments in case you wanna to try to fade it with the guard attachments. I rarely do. I have tried it before, it wasn't bad, but I still use my masters with the guard, with the one guard, and uh, the masters wide open. Then I toggle with the uh, lever. So, but you could use the Andy Slimline Pro guards. I might do a video on that down the road to show you how to do it with the uh, attachments that come with the Andy Slimline Pros. But as you guys can see, Beard looking nice and straight. You know, I'm gonna get these chalk lines off of there as well. But um, it's gonna be a nice, clean, natural line. But until I dig into that line, you probably won't ever see it on camera like that. Unless I get the straight razor out and really, like I say, just start digging into the line. So not doing that today. This is just a natural, coily, coarse beard. You know, no product at all. But hey, you know, good beard habits. And I think it turned out pretty right. Your boy ready to step on out looking like the black Chuck Woolery. Let me get out of here before my girl start hollering at me. You know, it's time to get some brews in our system. So we got to definitely get that done. As always, thanks for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.